question 2a says factorize completely each of the following expressions first you have 1 minus 4h squared now the shortcut method of factorizing this and the the, the shortcut method will be sufficient in this case because it's just one mark this is a product of two squares or difference of two squares I should say you have one square here which is one square the difference which is minus and the other square will be 4 which is 2 squared 8 square which you can rewrite as 2h r squared all right and the shortcut way of factorizing the difference of two squares is that you have two brackets in the left hand corner of each bracket you have whatever it is that you square are that is on the left you square one so it's one on the left in the right you put whatever you squared 2h the item that is squared that appears on the right you put in the right of each bracket 2h and you have a plus and minus here All right now let's test and see if it really works you multiply it out 1 times 1 is 1 squared 1 times negative 2h is negative 2h plus 2 times 1 plus 2h plus 2 times negative 2h which is a negative 4h squared running out of space here so negative 2h plus 2h is 0 so this is gone so what you have here is 1 squared minus 4 8 squared so it does work here is a matter of testing it to see if it works now let me just remove the test of the item which I just did and we go on to the second part we're going to factorize PQ minus Q squared minus 3P plus 3Q now we have between p q and q square here we have a common factor q so we can put q and in the bracket we can say what is q into p q it is p so we're going to put p here or we could say q minus what damn q multiplied by what would give pq so you know it's p that is here minus q times what our q into q squared is q or q times this here will give you q squared so you know it's q that it will be here all right now between these two negative 3p and positive 3q we have a common factor of 3 now when you put in the bracket if you consider a positive 3 you're going to have 3 into negative 3p is going to be negative p but the thing is what is in the bracket should be the same so you're not going to use a positive 3p here what you're going to do is use a negative 3p negative 3p in I mean negative 3 I should say we're going to use a negative 3 negative 3 into negative 3p goes positive p or we could say negative 3 multiplied by this here what you put here will be negative 3p 
negative 3p times what gives you negative 3p? It is p. So what you're going to have is p here. So that negative, if you remove your brackets, you have negative 3 times p give you negative 3p. Then negative 3 will multiply this that you'll put here to give 3q, positive 3q. So you're going to have a negative 3 times something that results in positive, so it must be minus. And you know, 3 times q gives you q. So you have the same things in the bracket now. Now, the thing is, you have an expression here where p minus q is a common factor. You have q times p minus q minus 3 times p minus q. The p minus q is a common factor. It's just like if you would have qx minus 3x, the x is a common factor. It's the same thing here that happens with the p minus q. And you would put x outside a bracket and q minus 3 inside a bracket. That's what you would do, all right? In the same way, you put p minus q outside a bracket and q minus 3 inside the bracket. So you have p minus q, q minus 3 as the answer. Completely factorized now, right? This was a bit lengthy, but it's a matter of explaining why you would do what you do here. So the answer is p minus q times q minus 3. Or you could have put this first and said the answer is q minus 3 times p minus q.